Good morning, everybody, and then on site and online. And then uh, today is the, our first uh, meeting of the 15th year anniversary of our surgical endoscopy to Lam Kong Hospital, Bangkok, Thailand. So we are very grateful and then very welcome famous Professor Ken Ohata, please. So. And also his colleagues is the rising star from the Ohata Salon, is the Dr. Yoshihaki Kimoto, please. Yes. Thank you. So thank you for coming today and then uh, in the, our lovely Thailand. And I am Dr. Sopakit Komilai from Surgical Endoscopy to Langkorn Hospital, Bangkok, Thailand. So the meeting will be there today is in the morning will be the, the lecture from the Professor Ohata and then the colleague and also from me and my colleague Dr. Sukit Patrajiapan. So yeah, please. Yes. And following after the lecture will be the live demonstration case of the colonic ESD location in the CCAM from the Professor Ken Ohata. So we, we can learn from them and then the, all of the participant in this room is actually is his fan club, right? So everybody is knowing you so much and then they're waiting to listen to your lecture and then to your, perf to your procedure in the afternoon. And tomorrow will be the, our workshop, the hand-on workshop, so we can learn the technique from the, his team, the Ohata team. So I will start first with the lecture, the lecture of the surgical endoscopy to Lalongkorn Hospital, so from the starting and to the future. Our surgical endoscopy to Lalongkorn Hospital is the, our hospital is located in the Bangkok, the capital of Thailand. So we are under the Thailand Cross Society and also the Faculty of Medicine to Lalongkorn University. So we are the service and then education. So I'm the co-rector surgeon. And then our team is the Coretal Division in the Department of Surgery. So each of us that have the specialized, me and Sukit is responsibility for the surgical endoscopy. We take care of the colonoscopy and also the upper GI endoscopy in our hospital. So the starting of the, our department is like we take care of the coretal cancer and also the coretal disease for a long time. And then the, most of the case is the anorectal, hemorrhoid fissure and fistula, and also the colorectal cancer, and also the retorectal tumor, which have the surgery is the main part of our treatment. Our annual patient, our patient is roughly is the 15,000 a year. This is the number of the outpatient clinic. And we have done a lot in the first in Thailand. We started TME on the 1990 by Professor Arun, and also the laparoscopic colorectal surgery in the 2004 by Professor Shuship and Professor Jirawat. And with the laparoscopic surgery, so the, the results from the laparoscopic surgery compared to the open now is like, is proof that it's better and then worth for the surgery. And then this is a result, the laparoscopic surgery on the left and then the open surgery on the right. So, but after the treatment, the, even in 10 year past, the number of the cancer is not reduced, it's increasing. And that's why we're starting to thinking about the endoscopy. Because we now know that the colorectal cancer is the preventable disease by doing the screening, getting the, to find out the polyp, and then cut it off to prevent the cancer. So that's what the surgical endoscopy is starting on the, that time. So we are aimed to the diagnosis to therapeutic colonoscopy at the starting. So on the 2008, I'm still being the fellowship, the last year of the Coretta Fellow in this department. So I start doing the colonoscopy. And, and you can see in the photo, is like the, that is the 150 from the Olympus, and only one scope that I have, and this is the room that I'm doing the endoscopy at the beginning, then in the OR, actually. And then this is the room that nobody wants to use. And this is my room. So, yeah. Um, okay, no. Yes. And this is a room. And this is the classic in the Thai endoscopy. The mostly is like the, in the OPT theaters. And we have the reprocessing is the bathtub 
the baby bathtub. This is the classic one, and then that that the beginning that I'm doing the same thing. That is the problem that like the no expert in the in this field in at that time. In yeah, but uh, they do everything, not just only the colonoscopy. And the knowledge of the endoscopy is like not so advanced compared to the Japanese and the others in around the world. And we don't have the equipment at that time. As you see in that we have only the 150 scope, only one. And no magnified scope and no NBI, no knowledge of the NBI at that time. And the human resource, I have only one. I have to transfer the bed to my to the room by myself, do everything with the cleaning. I also cleaning by myself at the starting. I we have no budget, but uh, I believe that uh, with the experience and the patient, the man can do everything. Yeah, then I got it from the Avenger movie, so it's very really inspiring. And then, yeah, at that time they make the planning to do the endoscopy, to so studying our surgical endoscopy. So training myself first for the knowledge in locally and then internationally, and then got the observation from the everywhere in the Thailand and also the Japan and the other country. And asking for the budget, the budget planning for the human resource and then location and e equipment, everything's starting planning and doing. And on the 2009, I went to the National Cancer Center in Tokyo with the Professor uh, Yudaka Saito to learn about the endoscopy at that and his team. And also to Korea to learn from the Professor Sun in the National Cancer Center in Korea also about the endoscopy and came back and then studying our surgical endoscopy in the June 2009. And then uh, as I mentioned earlier, we are under the Thai Red Cross Society, Chulalongkorn Hospital and also the Faculty of Medicine in the Chulalongkorn University. And this is the room when I studying the surgical endoscopy 2009. This is the equipment that we have. The the old one, 180 or something, and then yeah, and only one cases a day, and this is the surgical electrocautery at that time that I using to cut the polyp, and after two years, I start being the first case of the colonic ESD in Thailand, 2011, the first case, I believe that is the first case in Thailand, to, oh, sorry, yes, Yeah, that time. We are using the 190 magnified scope. That you can see the NBI is dark and then not so much detail that we can see. And this is the starting that uh, I'm done. Uh, you can see the some of the vessel and then, yes. So we use the indigo coming, which produced by ourselves, to highlight the, the pit pattern and then we choose the lesion and start doing the ESD from the retroflex that I learned from the Professor Yutaka Saito. And yeah, this is the first case. And you can see, not so beautiful, but uh, yes, that I can learn how to do the ESD. And then <coughs> that is a start. Yes. Uh, that time that I starting with the dual knife, you do a knife, and the lifting solution is the glycerol. We don't have the hyaluronic acid in the Thailand, so that is the thing that we use. Uh, yes, almost uh, finished. This is the first start, so I might skip this one. That is the old time. So in the 2019, I start the this location of the surgical endoscopy nowadays, uh, the new endoscopy, and we have two part. This part that you sitting now is like the preparation part. The patient registered over here, and we do have the ten room of the bowel preparation inside. So your patient don't have to do the preparation at home. They can come here, do the preparation, and go for the colonoscopy right away. And also another side is the you will see in the afternoon is the endoscopy site. We have three room of the procedure. We have recovery and then the check out for the patient. So lovely is the 1,500 square meter of the utility space of our, our surgical endoscopy. And this is a photo took from the, the patient loud. This is the patient and the cousin is waiting for the procedure. Also this side. And this is the reception area. 
and this is the entrance of the preparation. And this is the room that I mentioned that the private preparation area. And this is the procedure room, the room number one that you will see the procedure will happen in this room. And yeah, this is the recovery. And this is the scope cabinet that we use. And nowadays we use the 1500 and 1200 of the colonoscopy from Olympus, which is the, now the new one, the 4K. And this is a reprocessing area. And from the 2018, right, that you joined the Sukit, already joined the team. And then after that, they start have the publication. <laughs> Before that, they have no time to do anything. So after he joined, that we have more publication that's coming out from our team. And uh, annually of the case, starting from the 2009, that time is only 470. And last year, we conclude with 5,700 cases a year of the colonoscopy. So in our three room. So it's increasing every year. So room VM, maybe the 7,000 or something, yes. And then uh, this is the, the normal actual doing case of mine. And uh, we are doing the diagnostic the, for the screening and then the, for the therapeutics, including the ESD, EMI and ESD. And we perform the ESD only one day in the week on, because we use the, we ask the analysis to come and help. So we only done it only one day. And this is the, one of the case that uh, we are doing nowadays. Uh, usually in my, in my case, I'm uh, using the, the ESD scope. It's the PCF H290 TL. It's, it's uh, designing for the ESD. But uh, Sukit used another one. Use the CF290, CF290 dual focus. So we use a different the scope. But the thing is maybe the same. And then, yeah, we, the, some of it we learned from Ohata team after the last two years that I went there. And I come back and then I change a lot in the, my technique. Uh, this is nowadays like something like this in the, our ESD procedure for the colon. Yes, we didn't do the upper GI ESD, only the colonic ESD that we performed. Uh, for the upper GI, we asking the, our colleagues, Dr. Pupati is here the upper GI the, for the ESD. He's doing in the operative theater, another site. And yes, this is the nowadays that we're doing the, the ESD. It's the technique like this. So yes, we learn all of the technique from the Japanese. And then we try to, to make it the same things. And then the, yeah, we adapt something because we don't have the, all of the equipment and then accessory that we have, you have in the Japan. Some of them is not available in my country. So we adapt and then we learn and then so we perform yeah, to try to treat our patient. So and yes, so I might skip this one. Yeah, it looks like this. And uh, we have some of the product that we manufacture by ourselves, the indigo come in and also the Indian ink. So we manufacture it by ourselves to use it in the endoscopy. And also the preparation we use in the, we call it the Colopec, it's the PEG based the preparation. So still not uh, available for the commercial, but uh, soon we will be available on the market. So we go in the production of the commercially soon, maybe next year, yes. And also the, for the education, we're teaching the medical student and also the resident and the fellowship program. And not just only for the doctor, the patient, we also have the patient education program. Last time is before the COVID. And then, uh, yeah, this is, we call it the spidey mind. It means that, are you okay in the English? So it means that uh, this is the word that we always talking to each other, is that, uh, are you okay? So that is that your colon is okay or not. So that time, we do the, the education for the patient and we get the big balloon for the, let the patient know that what is the polyp look alike and what do you think that we cut it off. Yes, and this is the patient that we joined the, our program at that time. So, and we starting the, doing the endoscopy 101 on the YouTube channel. Um, actually, you know, when the COVID what is at, so we starting doing the more more and more education program on the YouTube channel. So please join our YouTube channel and then uh, more update will be coming soon. And also that 
after the went to the Ohata team and then we have the collaboration, yeah, maybe the next is the collaboration, the content together. Yes, and then uh, this is the example of the content. We we teaching the ordinary equipment, the technique and everything. So not just only me that have the YouTube channel, Sukit Komilai, and also Dr. Sukit have own YouTube channel. Is the uh, yes, both uh, please follow us, hit the like, please. So I, I believe that the, the education is the lifelong learning. So not just only the, when I can do it and I stop it. So I went to Japan awfully, and you see in the National Cancer Center, Sano Hospital with Professor Kudo and everyone. And then yes, more and more with the, not just only me, me sometimes with the, our nursing staff and the pathologists to learn from the Japanese and then come back and develop the system for our patient. And the last two years, October 2012, uh, sorry, 2022, have a chance to visit the uh, very famous Ohata Sensei. And yes, and his team. Is there, that is just only, just start relief from the COVID. And uh, yes, I learned a lot from, from their team, and then you, and then yeah, I coming back. And then uh, I planning to have the invite your t you and your team to come here to teach us and then uh, show us the, the procedure. And so that's coming to today. So thank you very much for updating that surgical endoscopy to Langkorn Hospital. Thank you. Thank you.